Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the upper room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellows with Jesus Christ today. Today is uh, April, 20, April 30th, 2021, Friday, the last day, last day of April. And the theme of today's devotional is, Why Are We Surprised? Scripture is from Mark chapter 11, verses 22 through 25. Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea. And if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass. It will be done for you. So I tell you, wherever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have, any, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Amen. Uh, today's story is from David, who lives in Michigan. On a family vacation to the Black Hills of South Dakota, we were on a winding road that was popular with tourists because of the wild burrows that often graze on the forested hillsides. We had talked about seeing the burrows for days, and our five-year-old son was anxiously anticipating this experience. After driving for over an hour around the burrows, uh, the burrow area marked on the tourist map, I told my son that we would have to give up on our search from the back seat. I, I heard this quiet prayer. Please, God, help my daddy find the donkeys. My heart sank. How could I tell a five-year-old that God does not answer that God does not always answer prayer the way that we expect. As I was beginning a shaky explanation, we rounded a curve and saw and saw a dozen burrows dotting the hillside. The white muzzled creatures began nibbling the dried grass on the shoulder of the road. Squeals of delight erupted from the back seat just as I was remitted, just as I was remitting God's power, our son's prayer was, was answered. Did I even stop to think that God might respond to our son's prayer? Certainly, I was not expecting to see the borrows. In today's verse, Jesus assures us, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Why are we surprised? when our prayers are answered. Sometimes we do not pray for what we think God does not answer. Some fortunes or some luck, maybe we, we just not pray. Maybe it is not appropriate. We, th we think it is not appropriate to pray Ask God to give us that things. 
Sometimes it is like a childish. That's why we do not pray, do not ask、uh, God to give us the things. However, Jesus said, "Ask and have faith. Don't doubt. Don't、uh, do not doubt anything, and believe that." You are already received it. Like David's song, I think I hope we have the pure faith, the pure belief, the pure trust. God didn't disapp. God didn't disappoint him. Likewise. God does not disappoint us. I hope we can pray. I hope we pray to God, asking God for what we need, for what we need to use for God's kingdom, God's ministry, and in our lives, we can also ask God. God can do everything. God is powerful. God is not limited by our doubt or our ideas. God is God, who can do everything, and who loves us so much. Like a child, ask their parents to give them, give him or her whatever they,、uh, he or she needs. As a children of, as children of God, we can ask God to give us whatever we need. We know that sometimes God does not give us. Because it is dangerous for us, or it is not good for us. However, no is also answer. We know that, like the parents, does not give a knife to their children, the young children, because it would hurt them. God will say yes or no, and God will give what we need or not. But no is also God's answer. I hope we remember that. I hope you have a great day, and I hope we ask God to. Give us what we need, and God's side in God's time when we pray. Let us pray, loving God. When we pray for guidance and help, fill us with trust as we seek Your answer. Gracious God, please be with us and help us, and let us follow You, and let us ask You what we need. Because you are our God, and we are your children. Sometimes we have doubts in our hearts. Sometimes we do not believe you. Sometimes we do not trust you fully, so we don't ask you. However, through today's Bible, today's story, we learned that you are ready to give us whatever good to us. So please let us. Ask you to give us whatever we need, and also let us remember that you can say no. You are、uh, based on what we ask, because you know what is good for us. Well, more than us, we believe and we trust in you. 
Please be with us and help us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and have a wonderful、uh, weekend. I will see you on Sunday at ten o'clock、uh, um, in in-person service or through online service. So please join us and please be with us. And also,、uh, I will see you next Tuesday for daily devotional. Please join us in our worship and devotional. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.